you're still on Facebook. <laughs> Nope, I got you. <laughs> Good. This hammer head's so slick. That's buff out the paint. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the Hill Life Homestead. Uh, not sure how that audio is gonna work. It's windy as usual up here. Uh, but today we're gonna to make a beehive stand. We're gonna turn this pile of lumber and those blocks over there into this, which is what Tiffany will insert up there. So hang with us. This uh, shouldn't take very long and I'm not even a very good carpenter. So uh, got, got my partner helping me today. See how many times he runs off during this project. But uh, anyway, stick with us. We're gonna get this thing built. Okay, so what we're doing here, guys, is we're cutting these posts to 20 inches. Uh, we're doing a little voiceover because it's windy outside. You really only need 20 inches unless you're six foot five. And as, if you know me and Tiffany, we are not six foot five. So cut them 20 inches, mark them with a speed square, keep them nice and straight. See how windy it is by the little dog's ears blowing. Got a new saw, I'm super proud of it. $129 from the Home Depot. We're going to use that if that'll cut it. Uh, if it didn't, we're just going to use the saws off. Get my lines marked. Mark them on all sides so you can cut the saw all the way around. It, but watching it and talking about it seems kind of slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle I get anything done. So I'm adjusting the depth right here. I, I put it to where it's all the way up. It's I think it's supposed to cut right through four inches, but of course you need to take the battery out when you do that. You don't need to be adjusting anything with your fingers down there. That's all what's come on. You may or may not have fingers when you get done. You're only supposed to do a voiceover for that first section. Oh. Okay. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stop that whole thing. Listen, you're not at work. I should be wearing safety glasses, shouldn't I? You should. I'm going to put them on. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen me squint with my little squinty eyes already. All right, we've got all the end pieces cut and uh, the pieces for the middle here. And this is the bottom of our beehive. So I, we just set this up here kind of for reference because we could have done it two ways. Could put this on the inside or on the outside and screw that in a little bit. Uh, but if you want to know dimensions, these are eight foot long. We'll have a high on each end. And then uh, these boards here cut to 16 inches. So use another eight footer, you can get six out of here. I'm going to do one on each end, uh, two in the middle, uh, right around our four by four post. And then I'll do two kind of uh, splitting that difference in the, mid in the middle of those. So, all right, I'm going to do some screwing. So we've got the basic frame bill here. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna cut the little four by four post 
and then put them in there and then we'll put our braces in. And that's pretty much it, unless Tiffany wants to paint it. Like stain it? Stain it, paint it. I'm, you don't have to be in that if you like a natural wood look, but I'm not, I don't do that. We'll probably stain it. Oh, hello friends. I'm cutting the legs for the B stand, B, beehive stand. Uh, we're cutting them 20 inches, which is about what is recommended unless you're six foot five or more. And that would be a bit taller. I'm not six foot five. I'm closer to six one. Okay, I'm five foot eight, all right. Five foot seven and three quarter, really. Uh, so we'll mark these on all sides. And then we'll try to cut them with my new saw. Check this out, battery powered. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the four legs. Uh, I'll eventually put two more legs in the middle, but I'm gonna put these on there and flip them upside down. And this is just as simple as uh, putting them in the corners and put some screws in there, so. This is probably overkill for uh, these beehives. I don't, I don't, I've never done this, so I don't know what they weigh. But this would probably support a truck. I mean, I know they don't weigh that much, so. Uh, it's probably overkill, especially with the two by sixes. But like I said, we're just following the plans that we had and, and they look pretty cool. And I think it'll look good when it's done, but um, probably could have gotten away with two by fours and really even two by fours for the legs, but uh, posts will look better, so. All right, so now we'll measure for this. We'll have a, a post here and then a post here. This one's just here for measuring purposes, but I'm gonna measure out, find out what center is. Um, and then put this board in, the, or this post in the center. And then I'll attach these two boards on each side. This is my battery's charger for my saw. And then I'll cut the last two leg posts. We'll attach those. And then lastly, I will attach these two that I've got left. I'll find center point in here and put those in there. We'll flip her over, call her good, and uh, go make some cheese dip for the Super Bowl. A bit four by four. More like three and a half by three and a half. And then it's eight four inches. Oh, got cheated. I'll do it on this side so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm not very good at this. Maybe four foot, which is halfway. Then our eight footer. And I'm sure there's a better way to do it. Put that in the center. And then I'm just gonna put these two boards in here. It's science. Why don't you turn that one over so that curved edge isn't on the inside? Like so? Yep. If it's off by an eighth of an inch, or even probably a full inch, I don't think the bees will notice. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to finish one. <laughs> Must pass out. Like try to tie my shoes. Who did this cutting? But they're a little short on the inside. That would be you. We I mean, nothing to screw can pull together a little bit. Oh. oh. Is it good? <laughs> Absolutely. I guess while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and find we can eyeball this. I don't guess you have to measure. No, let's measure. Let's measure? Okay. Yeah. They probably won't even use the hives if that's off. That's right. We'll find a better place. Look at there, I should've just went my eyeball. It, it doesn't even need this brace here, but uh, cut, cut them the length that we did. Um, it just worked out to where we had enough to do that with one board and then having waste. So you could cut these 16 uh, inches too, 
and got all six boards out of, out of or six posts out of one entire post. But we wanted it just a little taller than that. 44 and a half. Actually, no, 45 divided by two. You were close. Yeah, I should have uh, tried to eyeball it first and see what happened. There's one. Really needs two. Some people might put three in there. But I'm going to put one because that's what we're going to do. Pulls it up nicely. I'm going to go ahead and cut the other two posts. Actually, no. Well, I can nail those in there. I got a bunch of 16 penny nails, so I'll cut those other two posts. We'll nail those in there and uh, show you all my nail driving skills. When I was 15 years old, I held my Uncle George and my cousin put side on houses. He used to call me lightning because I could never hit the nail twice. But uh, he'd be impressed now how much improved. I can hit it at least two out of five times now, so much better. <laughs> All this work and no food. Pretty much got it every time. Get all this out of the way. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was testing it, see if it's been able to flex it. Uh -huh. I hope we just get on Facebook. <laughs> no, nope, I got you. <laughs> Good. This hammer head's so slick. That'll buff out the paint. <laughs> All right, well, this is the beehive stand complete. Again, this is our bottom board, uh, just for a kind of a measurement comparison of what it looked like sitting up there. All this will be open. You want that open for ventilation. We'll put some uh, some shingles, I think, on the ground and then put a little mulch over them to keep the little varroa mite beetles from, uh, once they drop out, from getting out in the soil and reproducing and having a whole bunch of them. So uh, that'll also let air flow open around there. So. Anyway, it's not hard. I'm definitely not a carpenter, so keep that in mind. I've probably said that eight times a day. I don't want anybody to uh, think this is a carpentry channel because it is not. I'm not a carpenter. I'm not a carpenter. I'm not a carpenter. Y'all probably find that out when y'all watch me <laughs> build a chicken coop here in a little while. But <laughs> anyway, but don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and come check us out. We do have lots of cool stuff coming up as spring is right around the corner. Our beans will be here April 23rd. We're about to start on our chicken coop and be getting some little chickens and a turkey uh, and all kind of cool stuff. So uh, keep checking back with us. If you hit that little bell, it'll tell you when we put a new video up. So God bless you. Uh, we'll see you next time. All this work and no food. <laughs> Get all this out of the way. Thank you.